The TikToker claiming to be Charlie D'Amelio's cousin just exposed her. I think this is the downfall of the D'Amelios. This guy made a whole series saying he's convinced the D'Amelio family is slowly fading into irrelevance and he even came with receipts. Exhibit A, Exhibit B, Exhibit C. I mean, a t-shirt with your face on that. Is it really that necessary to do that? I don't know. But what made this whole thing even crazier is that he's not just some random dude giving his opinion on TikTok. This guy actually claims to be Charlie's long lost cousin. It has only been a day and you guys already piece it together that I am in fact Charlie's cousin. Not only did he rant about it, but he also absolutely destroyed Charlie's entire social media presence and reputation. He also called her out for acting like a spoiled brat and even said that her family's sudden rise to fame was nothing but a stroke of good luck. You need to understand 99% of America is looking at you and your sister as two people that just won the lottery. But this TikToker who's now going insanely viral for his no filter videos didn't stop there. He actually roasted the entire family and explained exactly why he thinks they're collectively doomed to fail. Tried to make too much money too fast and I think it's going to be very detrimental. He goes by the name Be Better and he made it his life's mission to debunk the D'Amelio's success. In fact, he used Charlie's career as the perfect example of what not to do. He said Charlie should have stuck to what she does the best, aka dance, instead of desperately trying to cash in her popularity at all costs and coming up with business ventures whose only goal was to make money from her fans. So we can tell when people don't care, when they're just trying to sell you something to make a buck off of you. According to him, Charlie's career is over because she's unlikable, unrelatable, and too bratty for her audience. Just remember the time when she vented about hitting 100 million followers? Right when I hit 100 million, I think I was at the lowest mental state possible. She complained about how hard it was to post every day and do sponsorships. But then she received huge backlash for being so out of touch. Charlie, you know there's people out there that work minimum wage to put food on the table for their kids? And you're out here complaining about being a TikToker? And this one time when she even pretended to work at Walmart Walmart just to promote her popcorn brand. But customers clearly didn't like that. A millionaire was trying to be so relatable to them because it all looked really forced and humiliating. However, those are just some of the dramas Charlie's cousin used as reasons for everyone turning against her. She first presented herself as the next door relatable girl and then went to complain about the stuff that seemed ridiculous to most people. Also, when Charlie finally found out she was being exposed, she allegedly blocked her cousin and he called her out for that. They left without me. They do this every year. But the funny thing here is that Charlie's views and popularity started skyrocketing ever since this guy posted his call outs. So could this be just a publicity stunt for Charlie or did he do it for his own clout?